Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Outer Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are making and trying out a seasoning wax oil blend to season fry pans. This isn't a paid promotion, we purchased all the items ourselves. The seasoning wax that we're going to make uses one part natural beeswax and three parts oil. We're going to use two oils canola for one half and grapeseed oil for the other. They have very similar smoke points. The canola has a smoke point around 400 degrees Fahrenheit and the smoke point of the grapeseed oil is 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to have one ounce of beeswax, one and a half ounces of canola oil, and one and a half ounces of grapeseed oil. The oils and wax are heated up in a double boiler and then poured into one ounce tins. The two pans we're using to test out the seasoning wax are Firebox Stove's hard anodized aluminum pan, the 10 inch size, and the WA Mineral B carbon steel pan, 12 and a half inch size. Both pans have been seasoned before with straight canola oil. The first thing we need to do is get a baseline to see where the pans are regarding the non-stick finish that they do have. To test the pans, we're going to heat them in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. Then we're going to put each over a medium low heat, melt a tablespoon of butter in each, and fry an egg in each. The egg stuck much more in the center area of the anodized aluminum pan. The carbon steel pan did much better than I expected. It is one that I've had trouble with stuff sticking to it when using it, which is one reason I want to try the wax seasoning on it. But it did pretty well. The egg only really stuck at the edges of the pan. To season the pans, we're going to melt some of the seasoning wax in each, wipe the pan down to spread the seasoning wax all around, and then wipe it off. What this does is it puts a very, very thin layer of the coating all around. Then we are going to bake them in a 500 degree oven for an hour. We're gonna repeat that process three times and let the pans cool down a little bit in between each application of the seasoning wax.
Now that we've seasoned the pans with the seasoning wax the three times, we are going to fry an egg in each one using that same method as we did earlier. We're going to heat the pans in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. Put them over a medium low heat. Put in a tablespoon of butter and fry the eggs and see how it goes. The biggest difference is definitely in the anodized aluminum pan. The seasoning wax improved the seal, the seasoning, and it is a much more non-stick surface pan than it was before using the seasoning wax. There isn't much of an effect on the carbon steel pan. It still has a good finish. It may have improved it ever so slightly. The greatest challenge was to do the test in an objective manner to see if the seasoning wax made a difference or not. A noticeable difference between the two pans is the anodized aluminum pan heated up much quicker and cooled down much quicker. As far as the seasoning, I think it did make a difference, especially with the firebox anodized aluminum pan. After the three seasonings, the egg only ever so slightly stuck in the anodized aluminum pan. And in the carbon steel pan, the sticking was still less than it was prior to the seasoning. It's hard to say how much the seasoning wax actually helped the carbon steel pan because it did so well before using the seasoning wax. One of my biggest reasons for trying this out is I wanted to see if I could tell that the wax and oil blend had any benefit over just using something like canola oil or any other oil that has a high smoke point for seasoning all by itself and I don't know that I can tell that difference. One thing I noticed that's different from just using oil is when I put on the seasoning wax and then wipe it off, the pans both had more of a shine even after wiping them dry than they do when I use just canola oil. When using just canola oil and wiping that oil off, it has a very matte finish or at best shine a satin finish, but these were very shiny in comparison. I did a good bit of research to see if I could find out why folks were putting the beeswax in with the oil to use for seasoning. And the only thing I could really find that folks were saying was that it would help prevent rust. So I'm curious in your experience, have you ever used a seasoning wax with oil blend? And what are your thoughts on how it compares to using just a single oil? The seasoning wax worked great. I just can't tell at this point if it was better than using just canola oil by itself. Down in the comments, let us know what you think and what your experiences are using different kinds of seasoning methods. We'll put all kinds of product links down in the description. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.